Welcome F2Ps and Swipes to the new year and a whole new Genshin Spilobis for update version 4.3. My name is Josh and before we begin I must add that I'm taking a little bit of time away after celebrating New Year's to actually edit and put this video together so it would mean a lot to me that you guys like this video if you guys get a lot of value out of this. Also comment down below what is your number one unit that you'll be bringing to this abyss. Now let's start warming up with floor 11 and with both this floor and floor 12 I think I can speak for everybody in saying that this is actually much easier than the previous versions as well as much easier than what I predicted rather than having the golden wolf lord or any other annoying enemies. Here is a list of suggestions for floor 11 but personally you can bring almost anybody. The first half of floor 11 chamber 1 will be multiple colored slimes in which you can utilize any elements to shred their shields. The second half comes with more restrictions as there are hydro mimics that deny the use of hydro. Just don't be like me and bring Nouvellet and Farina to go up against them. Next we see some unimpressive mechs. If you do want to use the arc element to stun them be my guest but I'll just be using regular elemental reactions the good old fashioned way. On chamber 3 you will find some more mechs as well as the dendro chicken who has come back from the last abyss iteration and is basically just as easy to handle if you have cleared the chicken before. Next is floor 12 and I'm gonna be honest there are some very sneaky things that Hoyo has put into this abyss that can trip you up if you're not prepared. But overall the abyss is much easier opting for enemies that have less overall HP and shields than the past chambers. Again here are some team suggestions from F2P to more whale happy teams you might want to explore. However you'll come to find that this abyss is very variety friendly. And a quick TLDR about this abyss that I'll really right at the end there are no new gimmicks to this abyss that you'll need to learn or know. Bless. Chamber 1 will start off with the perpetual mechanical array, an enemy straight from Inazuma, one that we haven't fought in the abyss for months. Good thing the mechanics are just the same and once you've clocked the second stage the mech that you'll need to defeat lights up with the ring and as long as you defeat that mob you'll be left with a stunned roblox block and it's lights out from there. Chamber 1's second half brings back another Inazuma friend, the Electro Boogaloo. And now with our new Fontanian friends, you can either Hydro Pump it away with New Valette, Cryo Pound it away with Riz the Slay, or try out Burn Burgeon like I am for my F2P team. But be careful of this attack, as this wall will prompt the Electro Manifestation to teleport a short distance away. And if you are too far, it will then proceed into the Electro Homing Cage, which will definitely force you to heal or shield against its heavy dot. Chamber 2 actually looks quite tame. However, there are multiple waves of enemies on either side. Make sure that you are promptly getting rid of the waves, even if they don't pose much of a threat. First half, we get a bunch of robots, but in the second, we interestingly get some specters, juke lobs, visharps, and law trolls, all boasting geo shields, bringing a character with heavy attacks the claymore weapon archetype or just hitting them really really hard will do the trick. And lastly let's talk about the Hydro Topa of Chamber 3. Now if you're just coming back to Genshin and have not yet fought the boss or the latest character level up material the Hydro Topa can be quite the imposing figure swinging around its lance with multiple master strokes. This guy does not play around make sure you are also aiming for the little Hydro spawns to cancel out healing and potentially stun the Tulpa, allowing for a brief moment of silence before he starts making it rain on the battlefield. Utilizing Dendro, especially for Virgin, since he's already Hydro infused, is a quick way to get rid of the watery figure, or just blast them away with some good old American spirit. Finally, we reach the last half of Chamber 3, and it's not that exciting, folks. It's literally Electro Hillies and two mages that summon the Dendro and Pyro Beast from Sumeru. Just make sure that you don't get trapped like I do, and you'll be just fine to target the main ladies or the beast to stun them once they're gone. That about wraps it up for Abyss 4.3. As I said earlier, there is no need to learn extra mechanics for these fights. If you face them before, they don't change their animations, RNG of attacks, etc. This has been one of the more straightforward Abyss runs that we've had in a long time. But don't let your guard down till you get those coveted 36 stars. If you enjoyed the rundown, please consider subscribing. 
I like to do these abyss reviews for my community, so a huge shout out to some of our new subscribers, uh, Michiru uh, Tanuki and Imagine Scotty for subscribing. Thanks. And with that, come check out our next videos over here. My name is Josh, and we'll see you in the next one.